Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's your boy, Lukatiki. And after nearly a month off, we are back in the air to see what is new over Intel Ohio 1. The giant Lieber crane certainly holds sway over this part of central Ohio, although sway is a bit of a misnomer as there was very little wind on this Sunday morning. I'm going to go ahead and orbit the drone here to take a closer look at what's new at the first fab. Clearly quite a bit of progress with the number of floor slabs having been placed. This will ultimately, ultimately be the clean room floor. And let's gain a little bit of altitude here to take a look at the full scale of this massive site here in central Ohio. In the foreground is the office building. And behind that, the first of two fabs as phase one of this Intel Ohio 1 project. I'm going to go ahead and pan the drone across the site so we can get a good macro view of progress. In the foreground is that Quonset structure. Beyond that is the commodities and support infrastructure. And just to the right, in the lay down yard, various pieces of equipment waiting installation. We'll go ahead and pan to the left here and take a look at what's new on the eastern end of the site. Not a lot of interesting things over there. And now we get a good close-up view of the office building progress. Basement walls are up, as is the first floor, and quite a bit of uh, floor decking has been put in place. And now coming into view is that white Quonset hut celebrating about one year since it was erected. I'll have to go back through the back catalog to see exactly when it was put up, but it should be about a year old. And here's a closer view of the laydown yard and now a quick sweep over the commodities infrastructure. In the middle of the screen, you'll see those silver tubes. Those are electrical conduits from the power substation. And here you can see a building's white superstructure. Plenty of uh, steel beams have been erected. And now some detail views of the first fab. Again, we are up to the clean room floor. Below that is the clean subfab level. And below that is the utility level. And below that is the basement. Again, we'll gain some altitude. Bring the background into view. I believe this office building is going to be four or five stories tall. I have seen some renderings here. I'll have to put those side by side in a future video. A gorgeous close-up view of the clean room floor. Each one of those tiles are approximately 20 foot by 20 foot square and appear to be uh, several feet thick. They are hollow. They're not solid. Uh, oh, and I did want to punch in closely to see how the seams have been filled in between the tile. Again, I do thank all the viewers who return and have subscribed to the channel. Your viewership does mean a lot to me. So let's go ahead and track to the right. Here in the foreground, again, you can see a close up of the first fab and another yellow Liebherr crane. These, I believe, are the uh, 11,000s, so capable of lifting. 1,000 metric tons. Obviously, that's on a close-in reach. So I wanted to take a closer look at uh, the commodities and support infrastructure. Several fans have been erected on the structure in the foreground. And here we see many of the items in the laydown yard. 
Those four long rectangles again are the air separation handlers. These distill ambient air into uh, constituent gases, nitrogen, oxygen, probably a little argon in there as well. I don't know if it's needed in semiconductors. And here is the $95 million substation that AEP has put together. And I count one, two, three, four, five massive transformers that have been installed and the blast walls between them. Things appear to be in order here in the power substation, but if anyone knows what might be missing, please do let me know in the comments. The only thing I can tell is they haven't laid down the final gravel, whatever prevents weeds from sprouting up. So we'll take a quick pan across the site. And forgive me for the blown out shot here. The light and the clouds were playing havoc with me while I had the drone in the air. Here's another orbit of the office building. And we'll punch in to give you a better look at some of the detail. A year ago, this was just um, a pit. They hadn't even begun the uh, uh, centrifugal pile driving, uh, or not driving, augering, to put uh, foundational piles in. Here we are a year later. First floor, nearly, nearly covered. So I'm going to go ahead and punch in on this load that's in the cradle. It is attached to the Liebier crane in the back, not the Liebier crane in the foreground. And uh, you can see that human there, that worker fastening the harness, the load spreader, so that uh, from the pick points on the slab, it goes straight up, keep those forces in check, not have any uh, rubbing or abrasions against the strap. I had to change batteries, so quickly got the drone back in the air. And uh, from here, we're going to do a lot of sped up footage. You can see that load has been now secured and uh, getting ready for a pick. Let's go ahead and punch on in and get a Closer look at the action. With the load secured, we're going to go ahead and really speed up the action and lay down some music.
So I noticed the load was just kind of hanging out here for a while. The crane was no longer slewing and it was not being lowered anymore. And I've cut this video short. Then I noticed it started to raise up and I was getting very low on battery. So uh, I was not going to be able to see this square firmly placed. Please tune in next time where we hope to see a slab safely seated. That's all from Luca Tiki. Go out and enjoy the world.